All right, so last we left off with steps four, which is kill the coefficient. Step three, which is gather all the x's. And uh, now we're here with a problem that sometimes you can't gather them because they're on either side of the equation. So how do we deal with that? Such as this, you have x's on that side, you have x's on that side. Sometimes you gotta gather all the x's on one side and all the x-list things on the other side. Let's see how we could do that. Well, first of all, I really don't like this um, subtraction. Really, if I change everything to addition, I think life would be better. Uh, 12x plus 11. This is definition of a minus b. And now I'm going to do with something else here. I don't like this negative 4 here, so I'll add perfect medicine for it. It's a, add a killer. The killer of negative 4 is positive 4. Since it's stuck to the rest of this expression with a plus, uh, I need the additive inverse, which would be positive for it. So I add that to both sides. Add that to that side. This is called adding something to both sides. I added a negative, or sorry, positive 4 to both sides. That helps me clean it up a little bit. Now I have that 3x is equal to 12x plus 15. And I'll just say by inspection there. I used a bunch of ideas from chapters 1 and 2. And now at least there are no more x list things on this side. All the x list things are on that side. But now we have another issue. We have x's on both sides. I would like to move some way this 12x to the other side. Well, the perfect medicine for that would be to add a killer on this side. But to make that a legitimate step, what we could do is we could add a negative 12x to that side so long as we add a negative 12x to that side. So we've added the same thing to both sides. This is called adding the same thing to both sides. Or the fancy name, of course, is cancellation law of addition. What that does is it gets rid of these ones and it turns into a zero, they're added inverses, additive identity, bunch of things that we already did done before. And that gets you to 15. And that's nice because now you've moved all the x's to one side and the x list items, the things that don't have an x, got moved to the other side. That's step two, because now from step two, you, you can do step three, which was gather the x's. Watch how I gather the x's. Three plus negative 12 times x is equal to 15. That's by distributive law, right? And watch how I do the, uh, now I have one x and one coefficient. So all I gotta do is kill it. So I got 15 over three plus negative 12. I kill the coefficient. And you can simplify that if you want, whatever. That's for the birds. That's beautiful right there, beautiful process. Let me just highlight um, this part right here, where we moved all the x's. This was called, this was step two. Move the x's to one side and the x-less items to the other side. This right here was step three, which was the gather, gather the x's. See, I have two x's here, I gathered them. That's step three. This is step two. And of course, this one was step four, kill the coefficient. That's where I just got my coefficient here and I killed it. Step two, move the x's. Step three, gather them. Step four, kill the coefficient. It's nice, huh? Step two, move the x's. Step three, gather the x's. Step four, kill the coefficients. Oh, I'm not sure if I told you guys this, but this is how you do these things. Step two, Move the x's. Step three, gather the x's. Step four, kill the coefficient. It's not the only way to do it, but it's certainly one that will work for any linear equation in the universe, of course, until... But there's one more piece of the story left, step one, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, before we do that, I want to practice step two some more. All right, so let's try another problem. What if you have x's on either side? Um, here, though, I'm going to take a, an optional step. Sometimes if the fractions bother you, you could get rid of them. You already have tools to get rid of fractions. So let me just do that. This is an optional step. Optional before you get on with the regular business steps two, three, four. Um, actually, I should do it both ways to just show you how good step two is. Here, let's do it this way. So uh, uh, I have three X. Um, wait, I'm going to leave some more room for my two ways of doing it. So I'll do it here, right here. Three whoa easy there 3x plus negative 1 half is equal to 13 plus negative 11x 
I'm going to add a one half to that side, and I'm going to add a one half to that side. So I use definition of a minus b to change all the subtractions into additions, and I also use uh, adding stuff to both sides. I added a one half to that side, and I added a one half to that side. That gets rid of that, and that gives me that three x is equal to thirteen plus negative eleven x plus one half. Okay, and now what? I got it, I got it, I'm working on step two, move all the x's to one side, so this uh, 11x, I can't have it on that side, this is negative 11x, I need to add its killer, its killer would be positive 11x, so I'll go with positive 11x added to that side, I'll leave this side alone, except for adding 11x to that side, so what I did here is add 11x and add 11x to each side, that's legit by adding stuff to both sides axiom or cancellation law of addition. This will kill that and that will give me that 3x plus 11x is equal to uh, 13 plus 1 half. And that right there my friends is called step 2. Step 2, the moving. I moved all the x's to one side and all the x-less items to the other side. Now we go with step, step 3 which was gather the x's. This is distributed law, that's step three. And of course, kill the coefficient. So x is equal to 13 plus 1 half all over 3 plus 11. That's kill the coefficient, e pica ye. You're done. Nice, huh? Uh, this is, I'm telling you, this always, 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 always works. Uh, steps two, three, and four will get you there. Of course, there's still a little piece of the story left I gotta tell you step one but before I do that let me give you an optional step here um, if you have 3x uh, plus negative 1 half is equal to 13 plus negative 11 X and if for some reason here I use definition of a over B if for some reason you don't particularly you're not warmed up to the fractions yet you don't like them so far uh, you could get rid of them you could kill them here's how we can Kill them. I multiply the left side by 2 and the right side by 2. Why? Because that was a denominator. And that's called multiplying both sides by something or cancellation law of multiplication. Now watch what happens when I do that. I distribute this so I'd get 2 times 3x plus 2 times negative 1 half. And on the right hand side I distribute that would be 2 times 13 and that would be 2 times negative 11x and that's called distributive law. And look at what happens here. You get 6x plus negative 1 is equal to 26 plus negative 22x. And I'll let you explain why. But now look what you have. You have the same ver uh, an equivalent version of the equation, but with no fractions. If you don't like fractions, sometimes you can kill them. That's an optional step, is what I'm saying. And then, of course, you can move them. Uh, this would be plus 22x, and that would be 26 plus 1. Um, I'll let you think about why. Really, what happens when you move them is you just move them to the other side and change the sign. You move them to the other side and you change the sign. We should make that a theorem, maybe package it into one theorem. But I haven't gotten around to it. Anyways, and then from there, the rest of this, that's step two, and then the rest of it is easy, er, same as before, with the exception here that uh, you have no more fractions. Here, let's just do it for fun. Why not? 6 plus 22x is equal to 27. This is by distributive law. And some other things. Um, and then I get x is equal to 27 all over 6 plus 22 by kill the coefficient. And of course, that's 27 by, over 28 by addition table. Nice. My point is that it's an optional step. Sometimes you can kill the fractions by multiplying both sides by the LCM of any denominator. All right. That was fun. Let's try it again. Again, in this example, if you don't like the fractions, you should multiply everything, both sides by this side by 10 and that side by 10, and it'll clean up all your fractions. I myself, I'm fraction friendly. I don't have anything against them. So I'll just go with the, with the flow here, and uh, I will proceed with my step two. My step two says move all the x's to one side. So to do that, I'm going to add a... See, I'm going to get rid of this one half, so I'll do 
add a one half to this side, so I'll add a one half to that side, and I'll add a one half to that side. That's called adding stuff to both sides, or cancellation law of addition. Add that, and add that to that side. That gets me to this step. 3 over 5x is equal to 3 over 10 plus 7x plus 1 half. Now I've got to get rid of this x. I got, I'm trying to move all the x's to one side. Perfect medicine for that would be um, to add a negative 7x. So I got 3 over 5x plus negative 7x is equal to 3 over 10 plus 7x plus 1 half plus negative 7x. So what I did is I added a negative 7x and I added a negative 7x to that side. That's called cancellation law of addition. Um, that gets rid of the 7x on this side. This gives me 3 over 5x plus negative 7x. That's equal to 3 over 10 plus 1 half. And that's by inspection. And now this is my step two done. Look, I move all the x's to one side and all the items that don't have an x to the other side. That allows me to get to step three, which is gather the x's. Three over five plus negative seven. Gather my x's. Uh, so this is called the distributed law. And of course, then you just kill the coefficient. So x equals 3 over 10 plus 1 half, all over 3 over 5 plus negative 7. Kill the coefficient. Step 2, step 3, step 4. Boom, 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 bam. It's the winning strategy for linear equations. All right. Uh, I think we should get to step 1 next.